Come here. All right, I wanted to do a quick little video on Piper's progress with marker in position and her uh, distinguishing the difference between the different markers that I use. Uh, so a marker, it's a word that marks a moment in time that I like something for her that's going to announce the arrival of a reward or a reinforcer. Um, and the idea is that once that association is created, um, when she hears that marker, whatever behavior she's doing, when she hears that marker, she's then going to take on the good feeling of re receiving food so that she's more likely to, to do that behavior again in the future when I ask her to. So, <coughs> Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, not necessarily doing too much with commands. I'll sprinkle the word in here and there, um, but I'm not so much expecting her to respond to the command just yet. I'm doing much more luring and like having her follow my body movements, my body language into behavior, and then I'm marking and rewarding the things that I like. So <coughs> we have a couple of different markers that have different meanings as far as the reward event that follows and what she should be doing with the behavior when she hears the marker. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> the first one is yes, which means I like what you did. You can come take something from me. It's a, it's a marker that doesn't hold commitment within that behavior. So once she hears the marker, she can just come, she can come out of behavior to come take the reinforcer from me. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I ate my lunch right before this. And then we have good, which is implying that I want her to continue to do that behavior, <clears throat> and I will bring the reinforcer to her so that she remains in behavior. And what I do with that one is I will continuously pay her in behavior so that she understands to remain in behavior, and then I'll start adding in rules with a no marker. So no means, oh, uh, I want you to continue to do that. I'm gonna use leash pressure to to create those rules and those, those, ex those expectations, and then Paired with good is okay, which is going to be the terminal marker, meaning the behavior's over, you can be done. And typically, I'm just going to lure her out of behavior. So yes is the main one I use a lot in the beginning when I'm shaping new behaviors, just because I don't expect the dog to necessarily be able to stay in behavior. I just want them to be enthusiastic about going into behavior and learning what that is, what it is that I'm looking for. And I find that if I'm like forcing them to stay in behavior too soon, it kind of makes it unfun a bit. So <clears throat> we're Playing, playing around with today with the place command uh, and we're having really good flow so hopefully that transitions into this video we've been doing it for about five minutes I gave her a quick little break and I was hoping that I could kind of show you hey well hi the, the difference between the two markers and how she's figuring out that they, that they mean different things hi bird please yes so she knows it yes means she can come take them from me good girl and that one wasn't as close place Versus place. What do we? Good. So even if I move back, good. She remains in the behavior. So she's not. <clears throat> no. Good. She's not so much uh, responding to my movement. She's picking up with those words I'm reading. Good. And that is a, a big deal that I am saying the word first. Good. And then presenting the food to her, and then bringing food to her, or whatever because I want her responding to my voice, the marker, good, and not my physical gestures, good. Okay, very nice. Um, that is because I want her to have a reflexive response to my words, so, you know, in this context, there's not a lot of distractions, so she's paying pretty, like, most of her attention is towards me. As we get into environments where there's a lot of things going on and she's not responding to my words, she's responding to my movements, if she's not looking at me, then she's going to miss those reward events. She's going to miss those markers because she's not paying attention to my words. So I want to be really careful with how I, the order in which I give those types of things. Hey, place. Go ahead. So sometimes I'll do like just random movements. Go ahead. The only thing that brings food is the marker. Yes. Rewarding her out of behavior, no big deal. <clears throat> and a big thing that I want to help her with is responding to leash pressure. Um, again, like in this environment, food is the highest motivator. As we get into different situations, there's going to be 
feeding motivators where she's like, well, I don't really care about your food. And I need her to understand the picture of what a behavior means and what I'm looking for. Even if she's not motivated by me, maybe I still want her to do that thing for me. So I teach leash pressure, how to respond to it. So I'll apply a pressure as I'm asking for a behavior. And then when they do the behavior, the leash pressure of attention and the leash goes away and we switch back to that positive reinforcement. Um, I'm very careful with the amount of pressure that I apply. I want it to just be kind of just in the background of, of what's going on so that they're not, she's not uh, resisting it. Like if it's too much pressure, you'll see a dog like, nope, I don't know what that means. And then they get frustrated and they don't want to do anything with you. So for instance, we, we have the sit. Yes. It's just honestly just laying the leash across her neck. So she's feeling that and when she does the sit, it goes away pair. So later I can use that to my advantage if I need her to sit. She's like, nope, there's a thing over there. She's being whatever. I can say, no, you have to sit. And maybe I need to use it at a level or a tension level where she does want to remove that pressure. She knows how to, so it's not gonna be a struggle or a fight. <clears throat> yes. I do a lot of that with, le uh, excuse me, pulling the leash towards me. I want there to just be a little bit of, yes, a little bit of that tension in my direction. And when she turns to face me, yes. It goes away, we switch into that positive reinforcement. So she's learning that when I apply pressure, yes, to the leash, that I'm asking her to change something and she can then figure out how to remove that pressure. Yes, through compliance. Of course, we have to make sure that she actually understands what I'm looking for in the first place. This is just a puzzle piece that I like to add in. So, Audley? Very gentle, just a little tiny belly. <clears throat> She's come a long way, like the first couple of days, um, she wouldn't really take food from me. Uh, she would, but it had to be like the right contest. Like it was just me not looking at her and things like that. It just, I think she was much more hesitant or suspicious as to why I was feeding her. I don't think there was like a fear or anything like that. And so what I was doing was just yes and throwing food on the ground and letting her pick it up that way. So she heard the word yes and then food would be on the ground. And that's kind of how I built her trust so I'm not forcing her into situations. Um, so now she's figuring out the concept of following my hand, like especially yes, into my space. That wasn't something she was yes, willing to do initially. So I'm happy to see that she's like, all right, cool. We can be friends. Good girl. All right, good, one more time. Good girl, good. She's a good little girl. Um, one last thing, okay, is her out. We're just taught, she's again, super beginning stages of that. Out. There, uh, I'm just teaching her the muscle memory, but she hears out, step into her space, and toss food away. I want there to be like a, again, a reflexive muscle memory response to so I hear the word out take a step back so I can use that to, if she's jumping up on me, I can ask for space if she has something she's not supposed to, I can make her leave that alone. Out. Um, we'll branch off from that. All right, that's the end of the video. Good girl.